Hey guys, so uh, Skyrim came out with an online mod and it's been there for a while. I just never really realized it. Um, yeah, so I just freshly installed uh, Skyrim. I've added the mod already. I've had uh, Skyrim script extender installed and uh, Skyrim 4 gigabyte. Other than that, I'm running vanilla Skyrim. Uh, I had it to freshly install it because I had so much mods that I don't know which one was conflicting with Skyrim Online mod and just kept crashing whenever I launched it so I want to play online with my buddies so that's what I'm going to do um, go to Skyrim Nexus, go to Skyrim Online and I'll have this in the link description you do need to go to the official website you need to register for an account there uh, so you can log in so I will register um, you know what, I'm just going to pause this uh, yeah. Okay, so I registered. Uh, they will send you an email. Uh, it has the customizer password for you, and you just enter the password, and you can change it right away. Um, I think... Maybe I can show you right here. New password, just change it. Uh, there's really nothing here except, you know, mess with your profile and stuff. Anyways, go back here. Files, Skyrim Online Launcher, Wild, pick whatever you want. Um, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on. And as you can see, I've already downloaded this. So, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this. Go to your uh, Skyrim directory. Alright, so it should come up like this for your. Uh, the mod comments Skyrim. you want to install this is drag it in here now before you run the game if uh, if you care this is important like if you have like uh, improved graphics or you know what I mean like custom settings you have like if you have FX AA injector which I had but I don't have it right now anymore uh, you want to cuz or save all those configuration files because the first time you run Skyrim online exe right here um, it will uh, default you like it will rewrite every config that you had so like let's say I have it set to ultra it'll rewrite to whatever is set to be best um, yeah so you just need to run that online exe when it's done um, so let's see what am I missing I know I'm missing something uh, okay. I think that's it. Oh, okay, yeah. Go ahead and run this. And it'll update by itself. Uh, I already updated, so... Yeah. Click play. It'll launch through Steam, like, regularly. So you do need Steam for this. I'm pretty sure it won't work for you uh, torrent users out there. So you want to go to options. Uh... I'm gonna set this to high so I can get a good FPS. I usually set it to ultra, but uh, with uh, my server running in the background and perhaps recording too, I'm scared it'll drop my FPS too low. And I'm really scared it might crash the game too for some odd reason. Ah oh, man, really all this. Yeah, I'm stalling. Anyways, I'm gonna switch over to my craps. And yep. Okay, so I'm in the main menu for uh, Skyrim, and if you start properly, you see this in the top right hand corner. Uh, you wanna go ahead and load your uh, game. By the way, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you might want to uh, back up your save file. It doesn't say you have to, but I recommend doing it in case something happens and it corrupts, you know, it's like, fuck! In a way. Um, this is my uh, character that defeated the main quest. If you install it correctly, it'll have two play Skyrim. Press F3 to the top left hand corner. So that's what we're going ahead and going to do. Uh, and now you will be prompted to type in your username and password. Uh, okay. Before we do this. Uh, I forgot to set one thing. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the English. Alright, I'm stare. like to make myself Let's see. Uh, so this is my 
So, um, yeah, this is pretty much online. Everybody here is walking around. A fox trot above and my chin. head. A sock hop beneath my bed. Yeah, um, and disco ball is just uh, to, uh, my fast thread. travel I think is uh, messed up. Let's see. I like to make myself believe the planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to say that I'd rather stay. Okay guys, so a fast travel does not work, <laughs> and if you do crash out of the server, the account might be, uh, like if you're trying to log in right away, right after launch time again, trying to log in, your account might say it's mismatched or something, um, that's because your player is entirely, has left the server, like, you know, it's still glitched in there, you might have to wait a few minutes, or just if you want to do an account or something. Just not because that's we really a lot of accounts and stuff like that. If my dreams get um, bizarre, I try to log in now, and you might want to disable the hotkeys for general and far as I can know, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load again, and go back on um, I'm gonna show you guys how to talk and stuff, uh, and, uh, if you die, which I did last time, it could potentially crash, and I'm still online, or, what is this? Yeah, I'm already set online to, uh, the other uh the uh the second server thing anyways to talk you want to press f3 like you would when you're joining game and your mouse will show up you can add people as friends list here and you can like say stuff like hello and you'll be the only one there <laughs> um yeah and i, work for I don't I know work why for but i see the online people like they're naked they're on their, uh, you know, underwear and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. It's still an alpha, so. And I, you mean you can still kill people like this? Die, 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 die. Oh, and you can cheat too. I did not mention that. Watch. So, uh, yeah. They're, you know, working out the bugs and the kinks out of the uh There you go. There's someone there. Ah, uh, it's probably someone, I don't know. Um Yeah, so just log out, exit out of the game. And my thingy just crashed. So yeah, sad face.